The Drew Carson Writes Studio presents Orchid Grove Asylum Hi, this is Drew, the writer and producer of Orchid Grove Asylum. 2020 has been an incredibly tough year for most people all across the world. We have had a pandemic that has ravaged the planet and we have lost many family, friends and colleagues to both it and other physical and mental conditions. Orchid Grove Asylum is dedicated to the memory of all that have been lost, especially to my good friend and castmate, Todd T.W. Brown, who sadly passed away on the 11th of June. Let's take a few moments to honour the ones that won't be coming home. You will never feel the same Without you with me, oh So baby, please come back home So know that I'm here Whenever you want me to come home The dinner will be on, the bed will be made The bath will be run All I need is just one I'm coming back to you as much as you need me So baby, come back home Baby, come back home Baby, come back home Ooh, yeah You know that I'm here Whenever you want me to come home The dinner will be on The bed will be made Greetings, I'm T.W. Brown, and welcome to Orchid Grove. Population, 1,028. A town full of secrets. A town full of questions. And a town where those questions don't want to be answered. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <sighs> I don't wanna. Why? <laughs> Why do I have to get up? It's not fair. No. <laughs> Great. Rise and shine, birthday girl. What? What's all this? Well, I couldn't let the birthday girl start the day off without a big birthday breakfast. Wow. Wow, you shouldn't have. You're crazy. Now, you you don't have to open this right now, but you, you really should or the rest of it won't make any sense at all. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Really, hun, you shouldn't have. I just... Uh, why don't we just open presents later? And <laughs> get that breakfast eaten up. We have a big day ahead of us. You remember I have to see Dr. Wen this morning, right? Wait, what are you seeing him for? You know why. <coughs> it's been ten years. When are you going to let it go? Let it go. Hunter, really? You, you know that isn't how I meant it. Do I? Though, I mean, 
What other way is there to take it? You will never go back there, so why even give it a Hunter, let go of my arm! You're hurting me! God damn! Stop! Ow! Fuck, man! This is the morning I had the letter about your father's death for you. What? What, what are you talking about? How? Hunter, let me go! Hunter, let me go, okay? Right now. You'll never go back there, Kara. Back where? What's in the box, Kara? Hunter, you're scaring me. Stop it. Open the fucking box, bitch. Get off me! If you won't, I guess I'll have to do everything for you like usual. Hello, sweetheart. Huh? Dad. What you do, Dad! Girl. Dad! <laughs> Welcome back, Sarah. Now, where were we? <laughs> Previously on Orchid Grove. Kara Shaw returned home to Orchid Grove for her father's funeral. Orchid Grove is a town full of secrets, where Kara's past quickly and violently caught up with her. She learned one of the townsfolk was responsible for her father's death. She set out to discover that killer's identity, leading her to a reunion with the town's other black sheep, Dale South. Dale is a violent and unpredictable man that Kara doesn't know if she can trust. But after finding herself trapped in an asylum with only him and a crazed Scottish woman for allies, she has no choice if she hopes to escape and discover who killed her father and just what is going on in the bizarre town known as Orchid Grove. Take her back to her room for now. Yes, ma'am. Kara, I look forward to our next appointment. Maybe then you'll stop with this foolish notion about murder mysteries in towns that do not exist. You two, what are you waiting for? Take her away. Yes. Yes, ma'am. She sure is limited in this one. Look around, Jimbo. We're in the nut house. What do you expect her to be? Fair point. Father Jessup? That bitch thinks you're her daddy. Oh, I can be your daddy, sugar. I can teach you to be a real good girl for daddy. Just don't let panel catch you screaming another patient. Not after the last time. Hey, how was I supposed to know that a comatose chick would wake up during? That's how good a dickin' she must have been getting. Or how fat your ass is getting now that she had to snap out of a coma to fight for air. Shut up! I'll have you know I lost at least five pounds since then. Look at these fucking pants. I think your ass gained plenty more to make up for it. Ah, dick. Here you go, Kara. Home sweet home. Back to the cracker factory with your roomie, Holly Hellafun. James, don't you know me? Now she thinks she knows you too. Well, I have been wheeling her crazy ass around for three weeks. <sighs> it's for the lift, assholes. See how good they fucking fit? 
我到。How has it been three weeks already? How long has it been since I last saw Dale and Connie? Where is this place? You should tell them what they want to hear. Works for me every toot and time. Who are you? Every damn time you come back from treatment. Jesus, it's Holly. Holly Drift, your roommate in this fine institution. And what's this fine institution called? Oh, they really did a number on you with the wackadoos today, huh? You are in the Hair Myers Asylum for the mentally ill, or in my case, the wrongly accused. Wrongly accused of what? Oh, the usual mass murder and attempted suicide. Yeah, that's the usual, all right. Ah, <laughs>、uh, great. Exactly. It's obvious I'm no serial killer. Heck, I don't even have a middle name, and all serial killers have a middle name. It's so obvious, but did the lawyers or the judge or the jury listen to facts? No, they just locked me up to cover up the fact they couldn't find the real killer. And we all know who the real killer is, don't we? Do we? Oh, of course we do. It's Larry. He whispered in my ear the truth. Shush! Did you hear that?、Uh, no. Shush! There he did it again. He said I should kill you, but don't worry, I'm no killer, Rumi. Well, that's a relief. I know, right? Awesome. Makes me feel so much better, Holly. Thank you. Ah,、uh, you can't beat hugs with your bestie. Sure can't. Say, bestie. You wouldn't happen to know what happened to the new folks I arrived with, would you? No, nope. Not talking about he and the crazy foreigner. Forget about them if you want to survive in here. I thought you weren't,、uh, you know, killer. I may not be, but there are those that do not want you to leave this place. You have met one already. She wants you to break and become compliant. Become compliant, Care Bear, for your own good. You mean the doctor? Shush! Don't ever mention Doctor Panel. Don't even think about her. She can read your thoughts like a book, and she knows everything. Sorry, Doc. My lips are sealed and locked. Sealed and locked. Nothing to read here in my noggin. Nothing but Tweety Birds and vacancy signs. How far from town are we, Holly? Sealed and locked. Sealed and locked. Holly, how far are we from Orchid Grove? Orchid Grove is not real, Kara. It's a place people dream about, but it's not real. Only loonies believe it's real. Oh right, yeah, Larry. Sealed and locked. Stale. Sealed. Sealed and locked. I get it. Ah! No! Ah! How are you finding the heat, Mr. South? It is of comfort to feel the steam on your face. I trust, and you, after all, bathed in the glow of the Devil Girl of Orchard Grove, did you not?、Uh, why don't you untie me? I'll show you how comforting it is. Ah, <laughs>、uh, the not too subtle threats of a boy who does not yet know his place in the world. You, my son, are a pawn on the chessboard of reality and time. Nothing more, nothing could be less. I am not your son. My father is a lot of things. The pussy is not one of them. Silence.、Uh, That's better. You will learn your place here at Hair Myers. Touch me again, and I will kill you. Oh, I think not, Mister South. I know you will grow to thank me for helping you see the light and for realizing your place in this society. Everyone must look within and decide if they are a light bringer or society shadow, never meant for anything but an out of reach, engulfed in darkness. Stain on all that is good and righteous, Mr. Jessup, Mr. Monroe. Take Mr. South here back to his room to rest. He has a big day ahead of him tomorrow, where we will see how much fight he has left in him. Yes, Mr. Kipshanks. Ah.、Uh.
if I was you, Sal, I would do whatever Kip Shanks says. You do not want to get on his bad side. Funny. I was going to say the same thing to you about me. <laughs> Laugh it up, boys. Come Judgment Day, you two are on my shit list. Oh, how will I ever live with myself? Don't worry. You won't. Hello, Herr Meyer's staff and residents. Tomorrow marks the beginning of the glorious annual festival of eternal light. I am sure you are all looking forward to the celebrations as much as I. Therefore, there will be an extra hour of communal time in the Great Hall for all residents who behave appropriately. This will grant each and all an extra hour to give thanks to those who bring eternal light and salvation into our lives. As you know, those who do not bring eternal light and salvation into our lives will be judged accordingly under the eyes of our Creator and face banishment from the Creator's grace. As then, as now, as forever, may you bathe in the light of eternity. As then, as, as now, now, as forever. forever. Uh, what did he mean by see how much fight I have left in? We'll You'll see. see. You'll see. So, Holly, any big plans for today? Oh, good question. Let's see. Well, I do have some correspondence to catch up on, so I'm going to need to talk to the pigeons about delivering it. Sure, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. But before I can do any of that, we will be having breakfast in the Grand Hall like every day. If you listen closely enough, you can hear the concierge coming to open the door for us right now. You know he's an orderly or guard, right? Sure. That makes sense. Well, hello, ladies. Your table awaits. I hear the chef has created a masterpiece of boiled what-the-fuck and a side of was better last Tuesday. Ned? How do you know my name? It's right there on your blouse. Hey, this is a scrub tunic, not a blouse. This is a man's top. What do the female orderlies wear? The, the same scrub tunic. Shut up. Anyway, why are you so surprised to see me? Expecting someone else like Daddy Jessup? Do you even know me at all? What is going on here? Look, lady, I get that you're nuttier than Bear Scat. Is Bear Scat particularly nutty? But I don't have time to piece together the jigsaw that is your shattered mind. The door is open, it's time to line up and head down to the Great Hall. Do I make myself clear? It's still a little murky around your pants area. <sighs> Fuck my life. Move it, you two. Who is he to you? I went to... I went to school with the guy who looked, uh, just like him. He was also called Ned? Yeah, I guess. It's spooky. That one is cuckoo. So, what are you in for, Weston? That's Mr. Phillips to you. And to answer your question, young lady, I was hungry. That doesn't seem like a lock him up offense. So I ate my neighbor. My mistake. There it is. That guy is cuckoo. I mean, has he not heard of Uber Eats? Dr. Davis, telephone, please. Dr. Davis, telephone, please. All right, guys, get them doggies rolling. All patients present and accounted for down in the hall, miss. Well, besides the usual suspects, well, you know. As it should be. 
Wait. Have Mr. South join them, and the new one. She needs to be integrated into the community. You sure that's a good idea? I don't mean to be disrespectful, miss, but the last time he was allowed to co-mingle, he broke Orderly Crane's jaw. Well, it's a good job you will be there to supervise him then, isn't it, Jessup? Oh my god. But don't worry. You will have Monroe here to hold your hand. God damn it. Whatever you wish, Doctor. Correct. Leave me. And once you are finished in the hall, I will need your attention focused on our friend in the sacred chambers. He has a big day tomorrow, and he requires replenishment. Uh, replenishment? There's a food hamper in basement room 237 ready and waiting. Consider it a done deal. No, I will consider it your job, Mr. Monroe. As it was, as it is, but not as it always will be, if you don't fulfill the requirements. Yes, miss. Are you nuts? Why are you talking back to her? Thought that comment would score brownie points. Well, you thought wrong, didn't you? Don't know. Seem to score some brownie points in my pants. Idiot. Light denier, and you're a light denier, and oh, oh, you definitely are a light denier. What are you talking about? What's a light denier? Oh my god, how can you not know about eternal light and salvation? I don't know. I don't know, because I'm not from around here. Could that be a possibility? Not from Earth? You are not making sense again. Come back to me, Holly. Come back to reality. Hello? I'm not the crazy one. Well, I am, but you are more crazy than me this time. Eternal Light and Salvation is the largest religion on Earth, Kara. How can you not have heard about it? There's lots of religions. I barely grasp the fundamentals of the legitimate ones, like Christianity, Buddhism, or Judaism. Let alone some cult thing like this. Sounds way too much like Scientology-level bullshit to me, so... You do you, girl, but all of what you just said is wackadoo. None of those are real things. There's like two religions. The real one, Eternal Lie, and there's Scientia. But that's so fake news. Only those vigilant nut bars believe in it. Are you a vigilant nut bar, Kara? Because if you are, I'm gonna stand over there as far away from you as possible tomorrow when the Lightbringer arrives. Lightbringer? Huh? And I'm the wackadoo. Although, saying that, I'm the one looking out at a sea of familiar faces, none of which know who I am, and all of which who are acting so strangely and way out of character. Uh, This is crazy. Come on, Jean. Don't make this harder than it has to be. Hand me. Where's my son? Well, at least one of them is acting normal. Where's my son? Well, don't say we didn't try. Back to the padded room for you, Snowflake. Oh, honey, if you think that's normal, I now, feel sorry I for you. you. You're today. probably right. You should have prayed longer. Dale? Because you are shit out of luck. What is it with you basket cases thinking I'm your dad? Sit down, Care Bear, or you'll meet the Lightbringer a day early. I know him. That's Dale South. He arrived with me. Don't broadcast that info, honey, as he hasn't exactly been making friends here. Look around. All those familiar faces, they aren't smiling, are they? <laughs> What has he done? Nothing too major, you know. Just broke an orderly's jaw, killed his roommate, and renounced eternal light, damning himself to being first on the Lightbringer's list tomorrow. Nothing too bad. Don't worry. He'll no, be fine, he's fine. Down here. Play nice with Mr. Phillips. He looks hungry, so I'm sure you will get along quite well. So what's for breakfast around here? He's smiling. Dale! Dale! Wait, if he's here too, then where's Connie? I don't know any Connie in here. She's like 5'8", tall, red hair, and has a Scottish accent. You couldn't miss her if you tried. Well, okay. Mm, 5'8", tall? Check. Red hair? Oh, Disgusting. Check. Scottish accent? What the hell does that even mean? That she's from Scotland? What else? Who is Scott? And why does he have his own land? Really? Can I have my own land? Hollyland. That would be awesome, right? Seriously? Yeah. 
Real fucking awesome. Look, do you know who I mean or not? Calm down, honey. Look, if she isn't here, she's not through processing. Or is in an isolated treatment on the lower levels. If you survive tomorrow, I'm sure you'll meet your friend again. But she can't bunk in with us, okay? I like my privacy. Kara? Hey, Jessica. I want to move over there. You can't move around the hall until all the tables have finished eating. And Mr. Phillips has not finished his meal yet. Now he has. You believe this asshole? Well, he is your kid. Shut up. Fine. Go wander around and the next person you lay hands on better be yourself. Did that do it for you, Padre? You thought, you thought I was a little old for you. You know what I meant. He knew what I meant. Sure. Sure did. And if that is your bad, good for you for being brave enough to acknowledge it. Shut up. Heads up, your boyfriend is coming over. He's not my boyfriend. Oh. What? Oh, hey, Dale. Uh, yeah, hey. Awkward. You keep an eye on the lovebirds while I go feed our friend. No doubt. Have to go. We need to get out of this place, like, ASAP. We have a bigger problem than all that. Really? A bigger problem? Then escaping a heavily secured nut house. Yes, like finding out where we actually are and how the hell we get back to reality. Uh, that's a bigger problem than getting out of here. What? Yeah. Look around, Dale. Recognize anyone other than me? Well, yeah, but... But what? Put two and two together. How can Father Jessup, a kindly but socially awkward and reserved old man, suddenly be an abusive guard? Monroe, who has known me my whole life, is over there staring at me like he's never seen me before. And my dad... My dad was in that room, alive. What the hell are you getting at, Kara? What I'm getting at is that neither one of us fell and bumped our heads and are dreaming this insanity. We ain't in Kansas anymore, honey. You folks from Kansas? <sighs> Not now, Holly. Come on. Wait, what? Okay, if I was a food hamper for the bringer of eternal light and salvation, where would I be? Oh, odd. Okay then. Box of kittens, it, it is. Okay, I, I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this through to you, sir. Bonnet. 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 Um. B uh. B bon. Bon appetit. So. Let me get this straight. We are trapped in a nut house in an alternate reality, or parallel universe, with the doppelgangers of the townsfolk of Orchid Grove, and the only real ones are us, that dumb Scottish chick, Scott Tosh, and Crazy Jean. Does that about sum up what you're saying? It's crazy sounding. I, I know. You think? Temper. Temper. Uh, it's not my fault. How else would you explain what's going on? I don't know, but... Something a little less wackadoo. Exactly what she said. So you think the chick from the psych ward is a better judge of reality than me? Hey, you're the chick from the psych <laughs> okay. ward to Larry. That makes total sense, Dale. Who the hell is Larry? The voice in her head, of course. Jesus. Hey, Larry isn't a voice in my head, you loon. He just whispers in my ear. He's invisible. Duh. <laughs> Take it. Hey, you just made Larry's list, you know. I'm so scared. 
I would be. Larry is a serial killer. Anyway, look, uh, whatever is going on, we are stuck in here without help from the outside and with no way of knowing what is beyond the front door, we have no way of knowing how to get back to Orchid Grove. Orchid Grove isn't real, Kara. How many times must I tell you? Oh, but it is. (laughs) Who the fuck are you? Your only hope of survival in here and your only hope of escape. Don't listen to him. Cedric is crazy. The last person he spun a yarn to about Orchid Grove ended up dead. Wait, wait. How do you know about Orchid Grove? I've been there. Oh, Lord. What happened? Did you lose your tinfoil hat? <laughs> no, I walked through the gateways in the basement of this very building to places that looked like this reality but were in actual fact very different. One of those places was Orchard Grove, but another one was a war zone where I watched my colleagues slaughtered. If you find your way to the basement and enter the sacred chambers, you will find your way home. Sacred chambers? Are you hearing this crackpot, Kara? He thinks he's fucking Harry Potter! Dale, look around. Isn't it any crazier to see all these familiar faces looking at us like we're strangers? Probably not, right? You guys are fun. Crazy, but fun. If you go down to the chambers tonight, you are in for a big surprise. Because that is where the Lightbringer resides. Even if what Cedric says is correct, you will never get past him and make it home alive. You will if you wait until the big ceremony tomorrow to make your move. But I have one request. What's that? Take me with you. No dice. Without me, you may find the chamber, but you won't find the right gateway. You can come. Kara! Uh, but I need a favor from you in return. Name it. I need to know where they're keeping my friend. I wonder how long it will take you and your friends to realize. Orchid Grove is nothing but a shared delusion. No matter. I know one thing for certain. Without your tongue, Ms. Martins, you won't be speaking of it again. To anyone. Unhand me. Where is my son? What did you do to him? Shut up, you crazy bitch. What is the meaning of this? I am so sorry for the interruption, Ms. But she won't calm down even after being pumped full of sedative. Ah, she is strong, like her son. You know my son? We all know your son here. He is a man of great importance. I... I don't understand. How could you? You aren't from around here. Your son is what your reality would call a cleric or prophet. A meaningless title for someone so vastly important and so close to God. (laughs) My son is a Methodist. Your son is the right hand of God. Let me see my son! Oh, you will. Tomorrow, during the Festival of Eternal Light, you and your fellow former Orchid Grove residents will be the first in line to be judged. Take her away, and do not interrupt me again. Yes, miss. Where's my boy? Where's my boy? Now, where were we before we were so rudely interrupted? Ah, yes. The delusion of this place you call Orchid Grove. South, on your feet. Where am I going? Why does it matter? It's not like it's optional. I'd like to know in advance if I'm needing to pack sunscreen or not. Always with the jokes. You got a new roommate, so it's your role to make sure he knows the rules around here. Uh, sure Dale is the right person for the job? Burn. Not like you follow rules yourself. Still, that hurts. (laughs) (laughs) Enough with the ha-has, get (laughs) moving. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I will see you all tomorrow. Wouldn't count on it. What makes you say that? New arrivals wait in processing until the communal time is over. She's right. So what's that about? Beats the hell out of me. Or out of him to be more accurate. Thank you.
Are we sure the mother is a wise inclusion? Mr. Kipshanks, you are here in a strictly observational capacity. If the Ministry has any issues with my management of festivities, they can contact me directly. As you wish. But you have already risked much by not killing the devil girl when you had the chance. Your handling of this matter is under review. You do not wish a visit from Arwen himself, do you? Uh, no, no, please. That will not be necessary. I will be the judge of that, Doctor. As it was, as it is, as it ever will be. Words to live by, don't you think? Yes, yes, I do. Endeavor to keep it that way. The alternative is uh, quite... Unfortunate. Keep walking, Sal. You don't want really to keep your new room and waiting, do you? You know, it's always weird when a new roommate moves in. I'm kind of nervous. What if he doesn't like my kind of music? Or what if he buys that shit cereal with the uh, almonds instead of the good stuff? Always a cluster of emotions at times like these. <laughs> yeah. I have a word with your kid here. This constant bullshitting is giving me a headache. Yeah, well, that's not very nice. And there was me gonna kill you last. Shut up, the period. Welcome home, Dale. Hey. Wait, I thought you said I was getting one roommate, not two. What's the matter? Worried they'll both like the home cereal? There's only two cots in there, guys. Which one of them is sleeping on the floor? Oh, I'm sure sleeping will be the least of your concerns. Hey! Hey! Hey, this is bullshit! Let me out of here! Hey! Let the bed bug divide. Let me out! Or your new daddy, Jack. <laughs> so, either you two bring a deck of cards? Are you stuck at home, craving that something extra special to eat for dinner? Well, why not order from Wuhan Be Crazy and choose from their extensive menu of endangered wet market critters? They have Corona Bat Burgers, Writer Stew, and of course, the big favourite. Tastes just like chicken, so must be, right? Chow mein. Open 8 till late, 7 days a week. Delivery what are you listening to? Food. It's a radio transmission. It's strange. You're telling me. Not the content. I mean, yes, that's also strange, but I took this radio from another I'm reality right. plane, and it still I'm plays here. Black at you, I see you. Oh, but here's the even stranger part. It just repeats what aired whilst I was in the alternate plane. Why would that be? I have no idea. The agency I work for, that oversees this very establishment, have brought back all kinds of artifacts like this. Guns that when fired become reloaded minutes or hours later without anybody reloading them. Our agents injured their return through the gateway heel. This is blasphemous talk. You want to get us sent to visit the Lightbringer? What or who is this Lightbringer she keeps mentioning? A decade or so ago, the gateway to your plane was opened for the first time. A teenage boy, altered by the experience, entered ours from the other side. The founders believed him the right hand of God. A decade ago. <laughs> Wait, Jean was asking about her son. Oh my God. That's right. Russian That's what happened to him? You will find that Everyone thought life. Dale and I had done something to him, but he came here. Oh, great. Now she's away back to Scott Tosh land, a fairy of magic. Look what you have done. 
Do you know him? Just impossible. Moister than a hairy clam at a Maroon 5 concert. You're listening to Mike Loading. So, what are you guys in for? What can I say? Divorce is a bitch. Yeah, I hear ya. Uh, what about you? The same without the divorce part. Okay, I... I gotta say, you both look very familiar to me. Have we met before? Fuck if I know. They have me so drugged up in here I can barely recognize my own face. To be fair, that is for a good reason. When those drugs wear off, you tend to get a tiny bit violent. Do I? Oh, I would guess we'll find out in around ten minutes or so. You two. You've been roommates before then? Not really, but I've seen the aftermath. His previous roommate's foot was the victim last time. You broke your roommate's foot. Did I? Probably. It looked fairly mangled at the time. It was also not attached to his body anymore. The body was missing and Jack here had a blood mustache when the orderlies arrived. Wait, you ate the fucker? Did I? I don't remember this at all. How could you forget eating someone? I, I don't know. Lay off him. He can't be expected to remember anything with the drugs he's on. Wait a few minutes though, as they gave him some new drugs to clear his head just before you arrived. Well, if this is all true, then why are you so calm? He's just gonna kill you too, idiot. Probably, but then again, they don't tend to lock you up in an establishment such as this if your reactions to the world around you are normal, now do they? Did I do these things? Am I a monster? First one of you fuckers that makes a move in my direction gets dropped. I don't believe you. I couldn't hurt a fly. Ooh, exciting. No, no, no! I am not fucking around. I remember. It's all becoming so clear. Here comes the beast. Attaboy. They all deserved it. They deserve to die. Calm your jets, big man. Take it easy. Oh, he isn't listening anymore. You all deserve to die too. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Brian. Kill him. You're a prick Kill in any him. reality. Kill him. Why, thank you. Time to die, fucker! Bring it. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. Okay, chaps. We got to survive this. I don't think that's in doubt. <laughs> wow. As an expert in karate... Did Panel sign off on this? Fuck no. And fuck her. Panel wants him front and center during the festival. She'll have the shaw chick and that crazy old bag, so... South was to be the first one sacrificed to the Lightbringer. She chose him for the recipient of mercy. Well, shit. This South joke has been a constant pain in my ass since he arrived. So what? And if he dies, who do you think she'll get to replace him? Had you even thought about that? Um, what do, what do you think? Jean, 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 what are we going to do with you? Where is this place? What have you done with my boy? Ah, the Lightbringer. Well, your boy is of great importance to us here at Herr Meyers, Jean, and we wouldn't want you doing or saying anything to steer him off his course of ascension. You leave my boy alone. He's just a child. Oh, he's far from that. He is the right hand of God. He is his will and his staff. Come the festival of eternal light tomorrow, you will see him in all his glory before you face the final judgment. What judgment? What are you talking about? 
Your eternal sacrifice will bleed new life into the wayward. It will illuminate those who bring light to others and condemn the fallen to the eternal pit, as it was, as it is, as it ever will be. Carl, you know me. You wrote many articles on my boy. Why are you doing this? Why? My dear, I have never laid eyes upon the mother of the Lightbringer prior to this very day. You come from the unclean plane to challenge his faith and the faith of the followers of eternal light. By tomorrow's end, I will never lay eyes upon you again. Ah, Miss Martins, I almost forgot you were here. What have you done to that girl? I have done nothing to her. What seems to be the problem, Miss Martins? Devil got your tongue? <laughs> You sick bastard! Silence! Or you will join her in her fate. Oh wait, you already have that scheduled in. Tomorrow, from light up to light down, he will share God's wrath on the fallen with you two at the front of the queue, along with the devil girl of Orchid Grove. Kara is here? Arise, one and all, on this, the day of the festival of eternal light. I bid you all a fond belightening. As with each year past, you are now to join your fellows in the great hall to commence the day's festivities. On your feet, girls. Yay, festival day. Hey, what happened to Dale? That look on your face tells it all. I wasn't a part of that. You bastard. He made too many waves with the others. I couldn't stop it. Couldn't or wouldn't. I, I... <sighs> At least have enough courage to own your own choices. Which one was responsible? You don't want to suffer the same fate, do you? Better question, do you? Because I'm about pissed off enough to go... Happy slap, your light bringer and have this whole cult coming to its knees. Please, for your own sake, don't say things like that. Why? Because the good doctor can hear me? He can hear what I'm saying right now? I'll take it by your lack of response, I'm right. Oh, I'm so scared. Dr. Panel, this is your final warning. Release Connie, Jean, and Dale's body, and let us go home. Or I will bring eternal darkness to your little soiree today. Do you know what you've just done? You signed your own death certificate. She's got an army of guards upstairs. What do you have? My father's temper. <coughs> oh, exciting, but you are going to miss the ceremony. No, this is one party I won't be leaving. Quiet. Good. Welcome to the commencement ceremony, one and all. Take your seats and prepare for the arrival of the Lightbringer. Where are you guys? Where is Kara Shaw and Dale South? <clears throat> um, there may be an issue there. There better not be, or you will be joining these heathens and facing their fate. The mother of the Lightbringer is sedated and awaiting her fate. And the Martins girl? Oh, she won't be voicing any concerns either. Good. You two go find Ned. Yes, yes miss. And fetch me Mr. South. <coughs> uh, yes, miss. What is the meaning of this? It's Ned! Out with it, man. What about him? I found him unconscious on the floor of one of the patient's rooms. Which patient? The devil girl. 
Shaw. Is this true? Yes. I'm Miss Drift. We can't afford any fuck-ups. If she causes a scene here, the powers that be will have our heads. Don't you think I know that? Dykstra, put a recovery team together and head to the armory. If her reputation is to be believed, you will need all the weapons you can lay hand to. Yes, miss. Shoot on sight. Kipshanks requested her be present at the ceremony. Carl, what do you think the powers that be will respond more positively to? Her non-appearance, or her appearance, that causes the ceremony's failure. Shoot to kill, Dijkstra. Shoot to kill. Yes, sir. <laughs> that lad really needs to lose some weight. Pot kettle, Carl. Pot kettle. What are we going to do? I don't know, Jim. He's dead. So unless we're a weekend at burning him, I think we should make a run for it. And go where? Powers that be our global ministry. We'll be dead within a week. And that is if we even make it that long. Or we take our chances through one of the gateways. Are you fucking nuts? So let's break it down. Certain death or probable certain death. I'm liking the sound of probable more. What Jesus. the fuck? They really did a number on him. Hello, boys. <laughs> Miss me? Funny thing. Took something from dinner last night without you noticing. Put down the knife. Let's talk about this. Don't worry. I have every intention of giving it back to you. Ah! Ah! Fuck this. Don't worry, Jessup. I will get you later. You said you killed me last. I lied. Soon. Kara, hold on. I'm coming. Dr. Blair, Dr. Blair, Dr. J. Hamilton, Dr. J. I don't see why we have to be down here. I told you I'm looking for my friend. The Scott Tosh one or the dead one? Hey, enough, okay? We'll get to the ceremony soon enough, Holly. It may not be Please a big stop. deal to you, but it is to me. Do you not have big religious ceremonies where you come from? I guess. My family celebrated Christmas growing up. What's that? It's to celebrate the, well, the, the birth of the Son of God in the Christian faith. You get a tree and decorate it inside the house. Your whole family gets together. They give gifts to each other on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day, depending on the family. And eat a big meal. And play games. Watch old festive movies. You know. Shit like that. So it's the son of God's birthday, but you all get the presents, not him. That's not weird at all. Wackadoo. Wackadoo. I guess it is. Kinda. <laughs> Never thought about it that way. So what do you do for the, um, whatever it's called, the, the, the Festival of Eternal Light? Or, well, first yeah. you gather en masse with your entire community in a large prayer hall or market square. You light candles to guide the way of the light bringer, and then you know. You know what? He arrives, seeks out the fallen in society, and... And what? Sends them to the eternal pit of darkness, you know? He slays them in God's name. Doesn't that happen on cr Christmas? Not at everybody's house, no. Shame, because that's the best part. Get down. Look, it's Dr. Thompson in there with that lady. Jane. Jean, it's 
it's time to join the others. Shit! We need to stop this. Men, take the mother of the Lightbringer here and Miss Martins up to the hall to await their judgment. I don't know, Care Bear. There are yes, seven sir. of them in there with guns, but sure, I'll stop it right now for you. No, get down here! Did you hear something? No, probably the rats. Oh, don't remind me. Can we make sure to request the exterminator tomorrow? The little bleeders will have a field day with the corpses when they are piled up. Oh, I'd like to see that. We'll do. Okay. We need to get to that ceremony before the Lightbringer does. Well, duh. You don't want to miss your own death, do you, silly? I guess not. I guess not. What's taking those orderlies so long? Guard. Take a team down to Patient Wing and bring me Monroe and Jessup immediately. Yes, ma'am. They will oh, face their judgment no. today, just okay. like the rest of these heathens. Come on, guys. Don't leave me hanging. So nice of you both to join me. Jean, your son is on his way as we speak. This is a great day for you both. You finally get to see how powerful he has become, and he gets to enforce God's wrath upon the mother that abandoned him here to die. Here goes nothing. Okie dokie. Which one of these fuckers leads to the, the least violent scenario. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Mm. I don't like that. Uh, my mother said to pick the very best one and you are I the it. Oh boy. Uh, here, here goes nothing. You're, uh, you're right behind me, aren't you? Come into the light, my child. <laughs> I find you unworthy of basking the Father's light. Cast ye to the pit to face your demons, foul creature. Ah, my children await. The Lord's work is never done. Come on, come on, we are missing it. Wait, wait, slow down, Holly. Holly, we need a plan before we just barge in. No, no plans. No wackadoos. Just salvation. Damn it, Holly, stop. Damn it, Holly, stop. Hey, come back. <sighs> Crazy bitch. Right, Kara, think, think. How do I clear that room? If Dale was here, he would just rush in and reach for the nearest weapon he could find. That's a tad unkind. I mean, accurate. Dale? But they said you were dead! You're covered in blood. What, what the hell happened to you? It's mostly not mine. And claims of my death have been greatly more... <sighs> Sorry. Don't be, I mean... I'm engaged. Tend to have that effect on women. But we got some more pressing matters to attend to, like, uh, who the fuck is that guy? It's him, Dale. Him who? So, the woman returns to seek her judgment. What the fuck? Well, as touching as this reunion is, I say we get the fuck out of here while they are doing whatever that is. We can't just leave Connie and Jean in there to die. Who? Watch me! Dale, stop. I need your help. Kara, I'm no hero, and I do not owe them anything. Jean has accused me for the last ten years of killing her son, and that other crazy chick would put a blade in me as much as thank you. I need your help. No, you need to leave with me right now. Dale! Even if it's to head back to your fiancé, this, all this shit, is bigger than the two of us. We can't take on a crowd of cult members and whatever the fuck he's become by ourselves. But we can. We have before. 
What the hell are you talking about? In the woods. We saw whatever he had becomes previous form in the light, and we fought for our lives, and we're still here to talk about it, and we were only kids then. Kara. Please. Fuck. Why do you always do this to me? Fuck! Okay, look, we grab them and we run. No time to save crazy bystanders, no side tracks down corridors other than straight to the basement. Hundred <laughs> percent. We just need to take Holly and Cedric with us. Kara! That's all. Just two. Kara! <laughs> He knows what gateway we need to take, you know? Fine, fine, fuck fine. But why her? She's crazy. Exactly. Do you think we're getting out of here without getting a little nuts? <laughs> Maybe she'll offset it a little bit, you know? Uh, absorb more of it. She can take it. Children, rejoice for the hand of God is in your presence this fine day. I look around and I see much worry amongst you. Now, now is that the look you wish to gaze upon God's disciple with? Do you fear your past transgressions or bear too much weight and cascade your souls into the pit of darkness? I see God has seen fit to remove the snake of deceit from your mouth. Unchain your limbs and those of the mother so they can beg for their salvation. Isn't that better, child? My nose! She, she bit off my fucking nose! I like this one. She has fire in her eyes remaining ablaze. Son, please spare her life. She has done nothing to harm you. The inhabitant of the vessel you were communicating with has long since perished from her. Although I claim his memory still, that does not mean I will not hesitate to lay judgment down upon him. Heads up, fuckface! Ah, shit, I just broke my hand. Honey, Jean, run. I know you. <laughs> nah, I just have one of those faces. Petulant child. the night I took this form. I gave you the decision. This body, or the body of the female. You now reap the wrath of your own creation. You talk too much. Fight or fuck off back to Sesame Street, you cunt muppet. Foolish. You cannot defeat me on this plane. Why endure such torment? Endure such bloodshed? Because he loves her, dummy. You. I know you. You know lots of people, don't you? Last year you sent my father to the pit for eternity. Now either you or me is going to join him. Come with me. What about her? She's done miracles to survive this long. Let's not join her and her father Larry in the pit. Larry?! Judgment is upon you. You shall see your father soon, child. We cannot allow any of them to reach Orchid Grove. Guards, find them. Kill them all. Where are you going, Dr. Pinnell? To stop the heathens from escaping. But you have yet to be judged. No, no, please, no! Wait, we can't leave him! I'm so sorry for what I did to you, Kara. You couldn't have known what, what happened. But I knew you. I knew your heart was pure. But why are you stopping? I must end this. You hurt him. He isn't your son any longer. That's why I must. Every second he breathes air through my boy's lungs is unrighteous. Now go. If Dale is alive, I will buy him time. If not, I will avenge him. 
You can't fight that thing. Are you crazy? Well, they don't call me crazy, Jean, for nothing. Now go. Sounds like you want much time to do whatever it is you need to do to get us out of here. I hear you. The hell is that? He's killing his own men. Once they set him in motion, he judges until nightfall. Well, at least it's less of them to deal with. I'd take an army of them over him. She's up ahead of you. What the fuck are you doing? My boy has an overdue spanking in his future. You're crazy. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, Jean. Thank you. Go. She can't hold him off for long. You don't know Jean. Come to mom. Connie, what did they do to you? Shit, Connie, get behind me. Now. Dale! Oh, thank God. We don't have long. He's right on our tail. It looks like someone already opened the gate, but but that's weird. What? What's weird? What's weird? We don't have time for weird. Nobody has gone through. Who gives a fuck? With no time logged on this end from when they arrived over there, we have no way of knowing how long this has been open. And? And is it home or not? It is, but... But nothing! Let's go! You cannot escape your destiny. What happened to his eyes? Jean! No! Well, Dale! Dale. Connie! Go! Dale, go! Enoch! What? Auf das Weg! Was? Is everyone all right? God, is it? <coughs> you pulled her through, is she? I think she's gone. She took that giant blade through her stomach. Why did she do that? Why did she get in front of me like that? She hated me. You saved her in the hall. That was her turning the favor. Crazy chick. What about that dude? Cedric! 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 Look, he's over there. Damn, did he get stabbed too? That's right. That's right. Now I remember I, I was shot here last time. <coughs> oh my god. And what? What does that mean? So? I, I'm so, so sorry. I, I... Try not to talk. You need to reserve your energy. I'm sorry. I didn't have time to check how long the gate was open for. I closed it before coming through. So, so they will take time to discover your timestamp. That doesn't matter, Cedric. You got us home. We're home. You're home, but it's not. It, it, it's not. Cedric. Cedric. He's gone, Kara. <laughs> we are home, but at what cost? <laughs> Raise your hands. Raise your fucking hands. Fleet? Is that you? South? How? Uh, what? Get the gun off me. I haven't done anything this time. Kara? Is... Is that you? Yeah, it's me. I guess we had you worried being gone for so many weeks, huh? Kara, you haven't been gone for a few weeks. 
You've been gone for eight years. No. You're lying. No, 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 no. no. That doesn't lying. make sense. <laughs> Connie? Get down. What the fuck is going on here? <sighs> Welcome to Orchard Grove. Welcome to your new nightmare. <sighs> here, take this. You're trusting me with a gun? Look, I only have a few fighters left. They arrived a few days ago and are heavily armed. So take the goddamn gun. Who did? Have you located the devil girl or the other escapee yet? Not yet. Fan out and search building by building. We need them located before the Lightbringer arrives. Help me get Kanye. We need to get out of town. No. No. I'm done. We stay and fight. This is our home. Orchid Grove is our standing. Orchid Grove Asylum was written, produced, and edited by Drew Carson and starred Tanya Milosevic as Kara Shaw, Dave Maresca as Dale South, Mercedes Lewis as Holly Drift, Johnny Horn as Mr. Kip Shanks, Dominic Scalpini as Ned, Rebecca Ray as Dr. Pinnell, Steve Hanish as Jessup, Blaine Kerr as Monroe, Jake Gallagher as the Lightbringer, Mick Strawn as Cedric Gibbons, Suze Seaton as Jean, Chris Brayton as Dr. Thompson, CJ Haviland as Hunter Murphy, Sean Fear Innes as Jack, Samson Lancaster as Bryant, Lee Zorn as Lead Guard, Dene P. Nariani as the narrator, Janra Roberts as Chief Fleet. Thomas G. Waits as Bobby Shaw and Drew Carson as Weston Phillips plus assorted voices. Music and score were provided by Carol Casey at White Bat Audio, Ryan Martin, Jay Morgan, Reardon Love and Ross Bugden. Additional sound effects were provided by Zapsplat.com. All links to the musicians and for Zapsplat can be found in the description of the show and on our website at drewcarsonwrites.com. We are raising money for the film and TV charity who offer 24-7 help to people in all corners of the entertainment industry, including financially and for those struggling with mental health. A link is in the description and also on the website if you care to donate. Orchid Grove will return for an explosive finale later this year entitled Orchid Grove, Standing Ground.